Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top spring fragrances for 2023. This was a highly requested video that I wasn't really going to do this year, but a lot of you guys wanted to see it. So I tried to pick different fragrances because I have done top spring fragrance videos before, which I'm going to put those videos in the description box in case you wanna see what I picked out for previous years because I still love many of the ones that are on those lists as well so for today's video i just kind of looked at my collection and just picked out what i was feeling at the moment what i thought was the fragrances that i was going to use a lot this spring season the ones that i'm excited about the ones that i love and i just made a list i think that it went over 10 i wanted to do my top 10 but i have like four extras so I don't know what I'm gonna title the video. Maybe I'll still title it top 10 even though there's a few bonus fragrances in here. Before I get started really quickly, if you are new here and you love anything girly, fragrance talk, makeup talk, body care, self care, just loving yourself talk, then go ahead and subscribe before you leave today's video. And with that said, let's get right into my top spring fragrances for 2023. <laughs> So in no particular order, I'm just going to start talking about these because as you guys know, I'm not the best at ranking things. I suck at choosing my favorites. It's like the types of videos that I dread because I'm constantly changing what I love. So when I have to kind of like put myself in a box, it just makes me feel very like pressured so this is just a list of the fragrances that i'm really looking forward to wearing this spring that i love a lot of these i have a lot of experience with i've worn them enough to let you know how much i love them and then some of them haven't gotten that much use but i want to really use them this spring so let's get started the first ones that i'm going to talk about are by juliet has a gun juliet has a gun is one of my favorite houses i have come to realize that i really really love a lot of their fragrances so i have two here i'm going to start off with the most simple one the one that i feel many people will like it's a crowd pleaser it just makes you feel fresh and just beautiful and this is Juliet has a gun not a perfume so this fragrance right here I think it's beautiful pretty much for year round but something about the heat and this fragrance are just it's a match made in heaven when I wear this fragrance and it's warm outside it is just magical I feel like it radiates off of my skin it smells so good to me it doesn't even really have like a scent type I feel like this is just an airy misty cloud of just smelling really really good and I did mention in a previous video that I did kind of going way more in depth with this fragrance that this is just a great fragrance for those of you who work in the medical industry who work in places where you can't really wear strong smelling fragrances people will smell you with this on but it's not a off-putting smell it's very pleasant it's really really nice and it also has like a sexiness to it. It's just a very refreshing, just kind of dewy type of fragrance. You smell very juicy and just really yummy without it smelling like florals, like fruits. There's none of that in here. It's more of just like a refreshing, refreshing clean scent it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance so that is my first pick the next one is by Juliet has a gun again and this one definitely has a scent type to it so if you love pear you have to try this fragrance out and this is pear ink I have not worn this one as much as I would like there's a super baby dent in this fragrance but this year you better believe I'm going to be wearing this so much because it has has gotten even better compared to last year when I first got it it's so good so good it is a juicy pear just think of if you've ever smelled not a perfume and you can tell that this is more of like a airy refreshing type of scent imagine that same exact feeling with pear ink but you're getting a pear juiciness added to it. It is so beautiful. It's so refreshing. To me, it's a crowd pleaser. It is so, so good. You can go to town spraying this fragrance. Go ahead and spray your clothes, spray your skin. Make sure that you're really 
like saturated with this scent because this is not a beast mode type of fragrance. It's not super sharp or loud or anything like that. So you can go ahead and overspray and it's going to smell so good. It's a very juicy, refreshing fragrance. Perfect for springtime. Next up, this is one that doesn't really get talked about a lot, so that's why I wanted to include it in this video. I don't think that it has been discontinued, but if it has, you can still find it in discount websites like FragranceNet and websites like that, or you could even find this at TJ Maxx, at Marshalls, those types of stores. I picked up this bottle from Marshalls like two, almost three years ago, and I paid like $30 for it. And this is Dolce & Gabbana Dolce. This is the the original one and this one is so beautiful this to me is just super dewy smelling it's floral but to me it kind of smells like it's, it has a little bit of green to it as well and it reminds me of kind of like waking up in the morning and walking through like a garden that has a little bit of that morning dew still left you know the, the leaves have a little bit of like water droplets on it it's really juicy really refreshing but you're still getting that feminine floral vibe to it so good this one out of the ones that i have talked about so far this one definitely leans a little bit more on the floral side but you guys know i'm not a fan of very strong sharp florals they give me headaches this does not do that it's beautiful and i used to wear this back in like 2016 this was one of my signature scents and it lasted me all day on my clothes when i would come home from work i would still be able to smell myself and it just takes me back to those days and I have a lot of really, really nice memories with this fragrance. It was also a fragrance that I used to wear when I first started dating my husband. So it just takes me back to a lot of really nice memories and it's just a very beautiful feminine floral, but it's very juicy, refreshing and perfect for springtime. Beautiful for everyday wear. I wouldn't necessarily wear this in the evening, but I think that even if you did wear it in the evening, it would be beautiful. It's just a very feminine, beautiful, scent I love Dolce so so much next up I know that many people love to talk about Dolce & Gabbana's L'Imperatrice for springtime which that did make it to my spring list I believe it was last year and I still think that that is an amazing spring scent but if you want something a little different, I have talked about Toca Julieta so much to you guys. I know so many of you guys have picked it up and you've loved that one. That one's amazing for spring as well. But for this list, I wanted to go with a different one. And this one is Toca Simo. This has watermelon in it. There's apple in here. You have a lemon. There's also some florals. You have ylang ylang, frangipani, rose, and then you have woody musky notes in the base. If you want kind of like the same vibe as L'Imperatrice, but you want something a little different or you just want to change it up this year, this one is so good. So L'Imperatrice is definitely like a fruit bowl. It's juicy. It's wet. It's refreshing it's just watery fruity fragrance this one has that same vibe but then they added a little bit of feminine florals which is my favorite way for florals to be included in a fragrance i like the florals to be kind of like in the background not really the main star of the show but kind of supporting the fragrance so that it's not just fruits so you're definitely going to get that with this one i love this so much and as you can see there is a pretty good dent going on in this one one is so beautiful to me it just smells very youthful perfect for spring it's so juicy you can pick up the watermelon i really pick up the watermelon in this one but the florals make it very feminine very beautiful so i definitely recommend this one as well next up the more time that passes with this next fragrance the more I'm falling in love with it, the more I forgive the bottle. So here is Ariana Grande's Mod Blush. I kind of shove this towards the back of my tray when I do have it on my tray. I kind of like hide it because it's just, I hate the way that it looks. But the scent in here is so beautiful. It's so perfect for springtime. If you love a very soft, delicate rose, you have to check this one out. Oh that opening gets me every single time. 
It is the most beautiful opening. It takes me back to my childhood. There's something that I used to use when I was little that smelled like this and it just makes me feel just so happy. It's so, so gorgeous. I am not a fan of passion fruit and fragrances, but this one and another one that I'm gonna talk about, they got it so right. The passion fruit in here gives it this citrusy, fruity, sweet vibe. It's so refreshing, it's sparkling, it's kind of it just wakes you up. It's the type of fragrance where it just is gorgeous to wear like in the morning if you're going to go run errands if you're going to go do your nails i always give these types of examples but that's just kind of what we do you know when we're not really going out or going to work or anything like that we're usually running errands and i feel like this is just so gorgeous to go for lunch to go run errands to do your nails to go to a spa just any of those things during springtime you're going to be smelling so beautiful it is just delicate the roll starts coming in when it starts to dry down so when you first spray it you're going to notice those fruits and the citrus and it's going to be fruity and sweet and sparkling but then as it starts to dry down the roll starts to come through but it's not an old-fashioned rose it's not vintage it's not mature it's still very very youthful beautiful and just the perfect way for a rose I think of a pink rose this is definitely not a red rose it's not a dry rose it's a very refreshing youthful delicate kind of like rose water but if you mix that rose water with passion fruit and citruses and raspberry it is the most beautiful rose fragrance ever. And then the base, you have woody notes. There's sandalwood and broxen, musk. This, the scent of this, A plus for me. The packaging, we're not gonna talk about it, but gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It's affordable. I mean, what more can you ask? And that one actually lasts a very good amount of time on me and I get that scent bubble with it. I can smell it on myself. It's gorgeous. So next up, we're going to go with an oldie but a goodie, one that I want to get more into this spring. I'm recommending it because, I mean, the scent is one that I think we all know. It's one that many people use. Some people think that it's tacky and it's worn out and blah, blah, blah. We don't pay attention to that, okay? If it smells good, you rock it. So this is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. And I wore this one, I would say a couple months ago, I had it on the tray. I want to put it on my tray for next month because I think that this is just the perfect scent for springtime. Juicy Couture fragrances are so easy to wear and you're always going to smell beautiful, feminine, young, fun, flirty. It's just, I prefer Viva La Juicy over Gucci, is it Gucci Bloom or Gorgeous? I forgot the name of it, but I got, I decluttered the Gucci one. I really loved the packaging of that one, but when it comes to the smell, that one, the florals were way more loud in it. The gardenia and the white florals were just too much for me. In here, it is perfect. I get those beautiful, girly, feminine notes. It's just so gorgeous. And this with the men is so popular. So many men think that it smells so good. Anytime that I tell my husband to tell me what he thinks about this without him knowing what it is, he always says it smells really, really good. So this is a good one. This one opens up with wild berries. You have a little bit of mandarin orange, and then you have those white florals in the mid, which I do get, but they're not super sharp. They don't bother me at all. But if you do like white florals, this is a very nice way to wear wear white florals and then in the dry down it gets a little bit more gourmand you have caramel praline vanilla amber and sandalwood so the dry down is really really nice I just love the entire just wear of this fragrance I love how refreshing and juicy it is in the opening and then I love how it turns into like this kind of woody caramel scent in the dry down it's just so nice but it's never too thick so you can still wear it for spring you can pretty much wear this one year round but for spring it's gorgeous so that is Viva La Juicy next up is the one that I wore last night to bed and I forgot how much I love this one 
and how much I need to wear this one more. Now, this one I think is more for you're going to dinner during springtime, you're going out in the evening, you're maybe gonna go watch a movie with your date or something like that. I feel like this would be perfect for spring. And this is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. This is so gorgeous. I prefer this flower bomb over all of the other ones. I'm not really a fan of the original flower bomb. I've tried it and it's okay, but there's nothing about it that makes me think that it's beautiful. It's a must have. I've never really felt like that towards flower bomb, but when this was released, oh my God, I blind bought this. I am so happy that I did. This has peach in it and I also believe it has like the vine of the peach or something to do with vine. So you definitely get like this green side to it for a little bit, especially like in the opening. So I really have been loving peach so much lately, like peach body care, peach fragrances. It's becoming one of those notes that it's just juicy. It smells so good. It's feminine. It's girly. It's just amazing. So this one is really, really nice. But after you get that peach, the vanilla that comes through in this fragrance after it starts to dry down, gorgeous perfect for spring because it's still not cloying. It's still not super thick. Yes, this is a little bit thicker than the previous ones. I would wear this one more towards the evening time, but it's gorgeous and it lasts a long time. I wore it last night to bed and when I woke up this morning, it was still on my skin. So not just on my PJs because a lot of fragrances will stay on clothes. This was still on my skin. It smelled so beautiful, sexy as well, super sexy. It just smelled very, I wouldn't say provocative, but just like very just seductive type of scent. I think that if a man was to smell this, oh, they would be like all over your neck because it just smells so inviting. It has this warmth to it while still being on the thinner side. It's not super thick and it's a good performer. It has good projection on me and it just smells really good. I layer it with peach body care, especially the Pretty as a Peach from Bath and Body Works. That's what I wore it with last night. Beautiful combo. So this is a great one for spring. Next up on my list is Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. This is such a beautiful fragrance as well. I love this one any time of the year. This is beautiful for fall as well, especially if you pair it with fall type apple scents. Beautiful, match made in heaven, but for spring, it is gorgeous as well. This is fruity. When I first got this fragrance, the first thing that I thought of was literally a red juicy apple. It was like I went to the grocery store, I cut up a juicy apple and I got the scent of it. But the longer that it has been sitting in my collection, can I definitely pick up more on the berries? I pick up more on the musk. So it's like this apple and berries musky. I don't pick up on too much florals with this one. And this has lychee and black currant, which are kind of like on my no-nos list. I don't really do too well with those notes, but in here, beautiful perfection. The grapefruit, everything that was used in this fragrance, you could kind of pick it up, but it's all blended in so beautifully. And then the base, you have sugar, vanilla, moss, amber, and musk. To me, it's just a sweet, fruity, musky fragrance, and it's perfect for springtime. Next up, we have Burberry Elixir. This was one that I was not a fan of when I first got it. I was kind of like, why is everyone making such a big deal about this fragrance? I prefer the original one. The original one to me is more fluffy, powdery. I don't know, I just picture like a candy that kind of has like sugary, fluffy stuff on top. It just, it's very fluffy to me. This one, when I first got it, yeah, it was less powdery, but I really didn't get like what the big deal was about it until I let this one sit for like a month or two. This is gorgeous. I think that I prefer this over the original Burberry Hair because it is a little bit more syrupy on me and it's a little bit thinner. It's not as powdery and fluffy as the original one, which my original one is getting so powdery. It's kind of like a powder bomb lately. So I might be keeping the elixir over the original one. I'm not sure yet, but I definitely recommend this one for spring. And this is one that I would also wear to like dinner, to something in the evening, but you can also definitely wear it during the day. It works for pretty much any occasion. You're just going to smell very feminine, girly, 
definitely smells like strawberry. So if you love strawberry, this is a great one to look into. Mm. To me, it's just a strawberry bomb. The base has vanilla, amber, and sandalwood, but honestly, I don't really pick too much up from that. I feel like I do get just mainly the blackberry and the strawberry in here. It's very juicy, very syrupy, very feminine, girly. Just, it's a sexy, pretty scent. I really, really like it. It's kind of like flirty to me and I definitely recommend this one. So that is Burberry Her Elixir. I'm going to recommend another one for the evening as well. Like if you want something that's a little bit more dressed up, but it's springtime. And this is Lancome Idol Nectar, which is another one that I want to put on my tray for next month as well i did use it a few months ago and it is so beautiful this one has a note of popcorn in it which i don't really pick up too much of which is a good thing because i didn't want to pick up the popcorn not i'm not really the one that's interested in smelling like popcorn but it does add something to it i pick up more of the caramel in here rather than the popcorn so it adds this sweetness to it but it's very floral it's one of the florals that i could do but i have to be careful not to go overboard with it so that's why the dent is so tiny because i literally do maybe like two three sprays of this i keep it at a minimum because this is very rose heavy along with those gourmand notes and then the vanilla in the base which really shines through in here this is a great performer great to wear in the evening great to wear a little bit more dressed up but you still want to give off like a spring vibe just a very floral sweet feminine vibe it is strong and it does last a good amount of time on me and it's very feminine and this one's definitely for a rose lover or someone who's okay with rose I'm not really a rose lover, so I'm very picky with the rose fragrances that I do wear, but this one works for me. And the sweetness and like kind of, it has like this almost like a sweet and salty vibe to it. Maybe that's where the popcorn comes in, but it doesn't necessarily make me think of popcorn. It just gives it a different touch to the fragrance. So that is Idol Nectar. Lastly, for my full bottles, this is Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. What a beautiful fragrance to wear this spring you guys know that i loved radiant nectar i believe it made it to my previous spring list but i will say this someone told me in the comments not too long ago they asked me if my clean reserve fragrances went bad fast and at that moment i was like no my scent my clean reserve fragrances are totally fine but i hadn't worn radiant nectar since like last year so i went to go pull out my radiant nectar because i wanted to do kind of like a comparison between these two and when i tell you my radiant nectar smells like spoiled wine right now it went bad it's no good i sprayed it a bunch of times because i have had some of you tell me to spray it to clear out the nozzle and that that will fix the problem that's not the problem with this one the scent went bad so i think that these have a shorter lifespan i feel like that's one of the very few fragrances that have ever gone bad i don't even know if i've had another fragrance go bad on me but that one went bad if you have ever had like a bottle of wine that you maybe forgot about and you go to smell it and you can tell that it's bad because it just has like this sour type of scent to it that is exactly how my radiant nectar smells so i'm decluttering it not because i don't want it anymore but because it went bad and i literally only used maybe like that much of it so i had a lot of that left so when i move i'm going to see if i find a smaller size in it because i think that having the big size of these might not be the best idea unless you're constantly using it and you're gonna go through it quickly but sparkling sugar is so gorgeous it's the one that i'm going to recommend for this spring season from the clean reserve line it is so so good this to me is just a sparkling peachy sugary musky scent it's really really beautiful and i don't really pick up the black currant in this one either which i'm not a fan of black currant in here i just get a musky peach and it is the most beautiful sparkling sweet musky peach ever so if you love peach fragrances definitely check out sparkling sugar this is one that i would wear during the day just casually it's just one of those pick up and just spray yourself all over the place and you're going to smell really feminine sparkling happy energized I have a hair. <laughs> 
beautiful beautiful scent now i am done with my full sizes but i did want to, but i did want to mention these three travel sizes that i'm really loving again i have not shut up about dolce lily recommend this one to get your hands on it while it lasts because it has been discontinued but you can find it on fragrance net i have about half of the travel spray left this one also has passion fruit mm. It is the most realistic fruit. It's so exotic to me. It's so different. It's so unique. I don't really smell other fragrances that open up with that scent. I keep saying that instead of passion fruit, my nose kind of thinks of this as acerola tree. My great grandma had an acerola tree in the back of her house and we used to go and like knock down the, they're like berries. Is it berries or cherries? I'm not sure, but they're really big and People here love to make juice with it. I used to just eat them like straight from the tree. And that definitely is what I think of with this. It's like a very feminine tropical. This is my tropical queen scent. That's kind of what I label this one. If you can get your hands on this one, if you love fruity scents, but you like more of like the exotic like mangoes and passion fruit and those types of fruits not your regular like apple and strawberry this one is so beautiful to check out so so good and this one's beautiful for spring and for summer gorgeous now here we have another one that has more of a unique fruit this is valentino donna born in roma Coral Fantasy. I forgot for a second what I was what it was called. This one has kiwi in it. Really nice as well. Very unique. I gave it such a harsh review last year because it disappeared from my skin. But I have since then learned that sometimes if you buy a fragrance and you feel like it's a little watered down or you're not getting the performance that you want from it, don't return it right away. Just wait a couple of months because usually they get much better there has to be a science to that i'm not sure what it is there goes my sephora packages this one to me is so sexy again very exotic very tropical i want a full size of this so bad i hope that when i'm ready to get it i could get my hands on it beautiful for spring and summer definitely recommend this one and lastly ellis brooklyn florist if you're more of a floral girl if you're more of like a clean fresh floral girl you have to check this out and even if you're not a floral girl and you kind of run away from florals the way that they did this one it's so doable a lot of people are going to enjoy this it's a white floral but there's pear in here it's very juicy it's very refreshing it's very doable it's not sharp it's not headache inducing it's beautiful so that is ellis brooklyn florist so that brings me to the end of my top spring fragrances for 2023 i hope that you guys enjoyed this video comment down below which ones of the ones that i mentioned you love which ones you don't enjoy let us know why and with that said i want to thank you guys so so much for being here with me today i love spending time with you guys having girl talk even if you just want to comment to say hi i will definitely be responding to you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video